Oh, hello you guys. Today I'm going to turn myself into a pumpkin. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to be a pumpkin. Uh, to be specific, a carved one. So I'm going to turn myself into a jack-o'-lantern. So please keep on watching for that. Okay, the idea behind today's video is that, you know, for Halloween, we are doing all of the crazy stuff. And I thought that I would be a jack-o'-lantern, but not the um, the usual one that everyone is doing with the black eyes and the black nose and the black mouth. But I'm going to be a happy one with a smiley face. I'm going to be one that is shining light and is not black, but sparkly and shiny and smiling and fun. Keep on watching for that. Okay, first thing is first, I'm going to prime my face because the orange color that I'm using is going to be a lipstick. Yep, that's right. So I'm using this orange lipstick from Makeup Revolution because I do not have anything else that is orange. And this is kind of like a DIY, you know, to see what you can use that you have at home so you don't have to you know, spend so much money. I'm just putting on an orange t-shirt and putting some orange lipstick on my face and then you're ready to party. To start off everything, I'm going to prime my face with the Angel Veil Primer from NYX because first of all, I think I just want to um, create a barrier between the lipstick and my skin so it would be like the least damaging, kind of. <laughs> Um, first, I would need to map out where I want the eye shapes, the nose and the lips to be. So I'm just using a jumbo white pencil. This is from Avon. Okay, then the nose is just the tip. And then the lips are going to be smiling with a few teeth, so. Now let's start the base, which is going to be interesting. So this is the lipstick. This is from Revolution and it is called um, Scandalous Vice. And the finer detailed part, I'm gonna use a flat brush because it would be easier than the lipstick itself.
so far so good. Now I want to do the little lines, grains, I don't know what those are called that are in a pumpkin. And for that, I think I'm using this little lip brush from uh, the Jessa collection. This is just a very fine little, little brush. And I think that I'm going to use this Shumbo Trend It Up pencil. This is the Ultra Smoky Eyeshadow Pencil from Trend It Up. The color is 055. And I'm going to just put on the product. And so let's get one in the middle. I feel like I should set this, set this with um, some orange. So I'm using basically this one from the Carmi palette because I think it's a good color. An eyeshadow brush, which is like this, which is also a flat, flat one. And just go in because that is going to give us such a good 3D effect that I love it. You know what, if it turns out to be patchy, then all I can say is pumpkin patch. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make them as even as possible. thought that I should put some highlight in each of the the parts um, I'm not sure if that is a good idea but so far so good so I don't know just as if they were like shiny and stuff so I actually have this beautiful gold highlight from NYX from the love you so mochi palette this is actually lit life Now all is left to do is actually paint on this sparkly shiny stuff as you know it will light out from the pumpkin. I am using yet again the Revolution Camouflage Corrector Palette. I just love this stuff. I have used this before on this channel actually. I've used it in the non-tutorial. So right now I'm going to use the shimmery fun little shade which is I don't know why in a corrector palette but I'm just all the more happy about it so 
perfect for highlighting stuff. So I'm going with the flat brush into the shiny stuff and then on my face. I guess you can say I highlight my nose. This is it. I'm officially a Jack O'Lantern. So I hope you like this little bit of different take on the usual pumpkin and carved pumpkin and Jack O'Lantern look for Halloween. I hope you like this video. Then please thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel for more crazy and kind of, you know, funny Halloween looks. And then until the next time, bye bye.